uh, hello friends and welcome back to my channel and uh, today I want to show you how we can apply materials to the doors and windows in 3d studio max uh, so here we are in uh, 3d studio max for saving your time I have already created a door and a window and on, on this door and the window we are going to apply material now the procedure is like this the first thing what we have to do is select the door or the window and in the parameters you have an option that is generate mapping coordinates just put on the option and same thing we have to do for the window you have this option in the parameters that is generate mapping coordinates put on the option that is the first thing we have to do and afterwards we have to open the material editor so here I have opened the material editor now in this we have to click on standard when we click on standard we get this uh, general list in this you have an option that is multi sub object select the multi sub object it will ask you to discard all material so you can discard and click on ok so you have this slot now in the slot we have this multi sub object uh, second thing what we have to do is we have to set the number of uh, materials so just click on this option that is set number and we have to set the number to 5 by default it is 10 and uh, since we don't require 10 materials all the doors and windows what we have uh, under the AEC uh, they require maximum 5 materials so we'll go for 5 and click on OK now you'll see the list has been updated as you can see it is uh, showing you these uh, different material IDs that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 so now in, in this we can add different material for different material IDs now these uh, windows or door they have uh, different material ideas in different parts so uh, now what we can do is we have to click on this option that is none and we will add one material so I'm using one material that is architectural that depends uh, you can even take some other type of material if you are uh, using some other rendering engine accordingly you can take the material so right now I'll take architectural and now I've taken this architectural map then there is option go to parent click on the go to parent option so here we have uh, one material added we need to add four more materials in the uh, in these uh, different slots so we have added one material so what we can do is we can create a copy of this material simply drag this like this and don't select instance go for copy and keep copying like this so that we have five different materials okay now once we have added material here for each material id we can set a reference color for each uh, material id so the first for material id 1 i'm going to set this uh, red color then for the material ID 2, I can have uh, a different color, the screen. So like that, we can have different different colors for different material IDs. These colors uh, will be using only for reference. And later on, we have to replace these colors with, uh, with the desired material. So I have added these colors as you can see in the uh, preview that we have these all different colors added in the same material slot now once you have created you have to apply this to the object let's apply this to the door uh, we can even apply this to the window so once it is applied you will notice that uh, different part of this door and window has got different color it is showing you a different color so these colors we'll be using as a reference and these colors we have to replace with the with the desired material so 
these colors we need to replace now what we can do is again we'll open the material editor now suppose this blue color uh, we want to replace the blue color with some with the glass so you have this material id 3 click on this material id and in this you can select a material uh, from the drop down list let's take a uh, clear glass and once i click on the clear glass you'll notice that the color has been replaced with the uh, with the material glass and you can even set the transparency here it's 100 percent let's reduce the transparency a little bit that depends on your choice what kind of transparency level you want for the glass then afterwards we'll click on uh, this button that is go to parent uh, similarly we'll replace these colors with uh, other materials we have replaced the blue color with the the glass and uh, let's change the other color as well for the window frame we have this yellow window frame that can be replaced with some other material so uh, in the diffused map I'll take advanced wood in the advanced wood you have uh, so many types of wood so you can you can take any other material if you want to take a metal you can take a metal if you want something else you can take uh, another material of your choice uh, right now I'm going to take the, the walnut uh, saving glossy for this uh, after selecting again go to parent once again we have to click on the same button so here we have added walnut which is currently not visible so just click on this material and put on this option that is show shaded material in viewport click on the option and I can see the walnut material is applied to the door frame and here also this window is having the same material id so you can see it is uh, applied on the front side of the frame whereas the back side of the window frame is having a different material so we can even create a copy what we can do is this pink color we have to replace with the walnut so simply you can drag this over the pink and click on instance so The entire frame is now having the walnut material and now we need to replace this uh, green and red color as you can see in this in this window we have uh, front side is having red color whereas on the back side we have this green color so for this also we can find one material uh, let's select uh, one map for this again I'm taking the advanced wood and this time we can take some different wood let's take oak uh, glossy oak go to parent again go to parent and click on show shaded material and viewport and once again go back to parent the green color as you can see is replaced with the oak material now we want to we want the same material on the front side as well so we have to replace this red with this you can even have different simply you can drag and instance now we have added oak and you can see here the frame is having walnut whereas these uh, panels has got oak material and in the center we have this glass and same way it has happened in the door you can take any material you can take metal you can take any other material of your choice and that is how we apply materials to the doors and windows in 3d studio max so thanks for watching